In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how can we use the ChatGPT to automate the boring tasks in Blender to save time in your workflow. Also, I'm going to show you how can you turn these scripts into an actual add-ons that can be very useful. So in this subway example, so to avoid having these sharp edges, I always add the bevel modifier. And these are the steps that I keep doing over and over again. So first I add the bevel modifier and then I set the segments value to three. After that, for, the, for this amount, the bevel amount, I make it adjustable based on the 3D object. And finally, I hit the shade smooth to keep a clean geometry. So we can do all these steps by clicking on one single button called Let's Bevel using the ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are in the ChatGPT. So this is just the, the free version, the 3.5. So let's go ahead and start writing our code. So we need to tell the, the ChatGPT to write a Python script. So basically Blender works with Python. So if you go here to the scripting, let me show you. So here you're going to find that the language, the programming language that Blender use is Python. So let's write that down, write a Python script for, we have to specify where we're going to be using this Python script for a Blender add-on. Also we can call it a name, so called Bevelify. So this add-on should add the bevel modifier to any selected object in the scene. So next we can tell the chat GPT that to make this add-on in form of a button. So let's do that. So this add-on will have a button. So this add-on will have a button called let's bevel. So now we need to specify where we should put this button in the viewport. So I'm going to just go back here to the layout. So I prefer to put it here in the transform panel the right panel under the item tab here. Okay, so let's go ahead and specify that. So this add-on will have a button labeled let's bevel within the right panel, specifically in the item panel. Okay, so once this button is clicked, what's going to happen? So let's write that down. So when the let's bevel button is pressed, it should add a new bevel modifier to the selected object with segments set to three. So these segments are right here. So I always set them to three in any object in the scene. So for the bevel amount, we can tell the chat GPT to make it adjustable based on each object in the scene. So include an adjustable bevel amount property in the panel. So we can give it a default value. So I'm going to just use this default value that we got here. So 0 0.075. I'm going to just copy it here. And let's go back and we can write it that down. So with a default value of 0 0.075 meters. So also we need to tell the ChatGPT to make this value dynamically updating the, the width of our, so for example, if we add it here. So if we change that value, it needs to be updating dynamically this amount here. So let's do that. So this value should dynamically update the width of the bevel modifier for the selected object. And the last step is going to be to add the shade smooth. So after adding the bevel modifier, the script should also apply shade smooth to the selected object. So let's press enter and let's see the results. So we have this code here, this Python script. I'm going to just copy it and I'm going to go back to my Blender scene. And on the top here, we can go to scripting and I'd like to add a new text editor here. So we can call it Bevelify. And inside that, I'm going to just control V to paste that code. So next up, we have to execute this script. So you can click here on run scripts. All right, so now let's go back to the layout. So if you press N to access this panel, you're going to see this Bevelify feature added on the bottom. So let's do a simple example. So I'm going to press Shift, right click, Shift A. Let's go to Mesh. We can bring a cube. Let me just take it up here and we can zoom on it. And let me just click on this Bevelify and immediately you're going to see that. So we're adding the Bevel modifier with all these amounts, the segment set to three. And we added the shade auto smooth. 
So if you'd like to turn this script, this Python script into an actual add-on that can be installed in Blender, all you have to do is to go, for example, to any text editor, the notepad, I'm using the notepad, I'm gonna just paste that code and we need to save it as a Python script. So let's go ahead to file, save as, I'm gonna be saving it to, so I'm gonna be saving it as double dash init, double dash again, point py, py. And let's go ahead and save this file. So this is our file. What I'd actually do is to put it inside the folder. So let's add a folder. Let's call it Publify, this bold here. I'm going to put it inside it and we need to convert it into a zip file. So let's right click. I'm going to go down to Add to Archive and we can check the zip file. Okay. So now if we go back to the Blender and if we go, for example, to Edit Preferences and if we search for that file, so this is the one, if we double click on it, it's going to be recognizable by Blender. So let's search here for Bevelify. This one right here. You can just check this box and you are good to go. So hopefully you can see the potential here and what we can do and create using both the ChatGPT and Blender. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in future projects.